Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and in today's video, we're taking a look at a twisted tale from Voodoo Bemble. This is a game which is due out in September 2022, but the very first demo has just been released uh, today, in fact. So if you want to get your hands on the demo, I'll leave a link down below. Um, I don't think it's actually available until the 20th of November, but if you sign up to the uh, Voodoo Bemble mail list, they'll send you uh, an, early, an early copy, and that's exactly what I've done. So just a quick... Um, a quick note on uh, on the game and, and myself. So if this is your first time here, um, I create purely adventure game videos from um, old school things, Monkey Island, Broken Sword, through to, um, well, through to brand new games, just like A Twisted Tale. So if that is your cup of tea, please make sure that you smash the like, um, hit subscribe for more, and make sure you turn the notifications on so you don't miss any more adventure game videos. Right, that's enough plug from me. So yes, Voodoo Bemble, uh, this is our first game I think I think it's a solo developer, I'm not entirely sure. And um, the emails come from Eva, who seems to be doing all the work. I pretty much, that's <laughs> that's pretty much all I know on the game. I'm just excited to get in. So um, play game and uh, come along with me. Um, yes, this is a gameplay demo. This isn't a big story or complicated puzzle waiting for you. In fact, there's no puzzle at all. Instead, you will get a first impression of the vision of how a twisted tale is going to be. Little errors may be included. Play on, play on your own risk. Um, have fun exploring and thank you very much for playing. There you go. There are 23 hidden homages and references to famous point and click adventurers. Can you find them all? Well, there's a task and a half. Um, yeah, let's try that. Oh, a knickknack store. That reminds me of the old days when Grandma used to take me to those rancid dollar shops. Knickknack store? Rancid? I resent such terminology. Uh, Sorry. Antiques. These are antiques. Precious, rare, unique pieces. Carefully selected by none other than me, personally. And offered to the public for purchase. Or a small contribution, of course. I didn't mean to be rude. And that means do not touch anything. No touching. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just look with your eyes. Do you understand that? Yes, of course. Excellent. <sighs> this guy doesn't seem to be the most relaxed sort. Let's look around a bit. But we'd better not touch anything. We don't want the poor fellow to have a heart attack and end up with me being wanted for murder. You know, like in the pilot of a streaming series or something. How to play. Right, escape. Open dialogue to quit the game. We don't, we don't want to do that yet. Right mouse button inventory, left mouse button use and look. Easy peasy, and you can skip with right or left mouse button. Fabulous, let's go. One thing I've noticed straight away, um, yes, I know it's a demo and things have to change. The writing's really small. And I've, I've got brand new glasses, but it's still a little bit small. But I can I can read them, but just a note. And um, one, another thing that I've also seen is you can click on everything, which is amazing. All, all point and click adventure games, you should be able to click on everything. I want to investigate the world. Right, let's have a look at boxes. Boxes. No labels. Do not touch! What's in there? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. You sell empty boxes. I prefer the name cardboard. They are antique. Do not touch. Alright, do not touch. What's that? TV with game control. An old TV with a game console. This is really retro. A real gem, isn't it? What is on the game console? A nice adventure game with comic art. But the puzzles? Whew, very illogical. You die a lot. Have you tried it? Of course. Finished it? No, I didn't get past the mouse cage. I'm missing the walkthrough. Do you reckon that's a Sierra game? <laughs> Little nudge. Uh, right. Ooh, diamond ring. Diamond ring. Wow, that's really a big diamond. Real and real cursed. Cursed? Natural. Original engagement ring of a zombie pirate. One of a kind. Rare. Valuable. The distinctive inherent smell is unmistakable and not a sign of inferior quality, but a sign of authenticity. That's some cursed monkey island. There's number one. Do we count that as number two? Because it's Sierra one? Don't know. Let's go pick up that coin. We've got some money then. Hey. A coin. Dink. Right. What's in my inventory? Right. Just a coin. Oh, there's the um, Fate of Atlantis. 
Nurabsal. Is that right, Nurabsal? You guys can tell me in the comments. Brochures. Table, ballpoint pen. Let's get the pen. A ballpoint pen. Can I have that too? No. For short term use only. Not for takeaway. Huh. Brochures. Huh. Can I take one of these? But of course. However, only one per person. They are free. Thanks. The um the voice acting is pretty good. I'm impressed with the voice acting. Right, if I click right click there, can I have a look at it? A brochure. Hmm. Let's see. It says a twisted tale. Discover a humorous point and click adventure game inspired by all the masterpieces that kept us glued to the PC back in the day and why we played far too little outside. Full of quirky characters, unexpected twists, and challenging puzzles. Hey, that sounds pretty neat. <laughs> Explore broken cities, pirate ships in the deepest jungles, and other unreal places. Stand by her as she makes acquaintance with the depressive death and engage in many explicit and ambiguous allusions, homages, and references to the great classics of past and not so past times. Wait, her? Who is she? Huh, never mind. Seems like some kind of indie game anyway. Well, there's a nice little ad for itself. Um, go away. How do I get rid Right. I'm not sure how to get rid of the invent... Oh, it just goes by itself. That was a bit weird. Um, okay, another thing I've noticed, it's very talky. Um, but I must say, I love the artwork. It's really good. And the voice acting is top. Her eyes are a bit weird. Always looking this way. It's like she's a bit shifty. A chewing gum machine. As a child, I used to search the street for pennies on my way home from school, just to throw them into the nearest chewing gum machine. You always had a choice between half fossilized gum from three generations ago, or a real porous junk toy. I always preferred the chewing gum. Fully functional. However, it only contains chewing gum. Um, can I use the coin in the machine? That should work. Oh, now don't get stuck. Yay! A chewing gum! <laughs> I beg you. A little more composure. Oh, of course. Yes! Did I get the chewing gum? I did. Can I open it? Do not even think about it! <laughs> that was very good. I like that. Dishes, vases, plates, more vases. Ah, reminds me of Grandma. All precious, one-of-a-kind pieces. Terribly fragile. I have a rubber chicken. We've got a pulley a in the middle. Chicken. Includes a carabiner hook. An original piece from the 90s. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a point and click adventure's dream, isn't it? Just going around and looking at old school things. Right. So we found the the curse ring, the uh, rubber chicken. What else do we find? I mean, kind of a Sierra game. I reckon this gun machine, is that from um, Curse as well? Don't know. Let's carry on looking. Millions of books. Oh, books. Let's see. Puzzle Smith. Translated Death's Messenger. Author S. Gordon. Hmm. And here, the Papa Pichu Bush and other curiosities from Plunder Island, an anthology. Interesting. Oh, wow. Um, the developer really likes the Curse of Monkey Island, don't they? Which is not a bad thing. Although it is the third best Monkey Island game. Fight me, I dare you. A doll made of cloth. It has only embroidered eyes, but otherwise no face. A voodoo doll. Needles only available at extra cost. A wooden tripod. Does not look very special. Excuse me? French origin from the year 1996? A diamond is said to belong to it. Unfortunately, untraceable until today. Probably an unknown private possession. That's, um, that broken sword. I hope I'm not spoiling it for everyone, but if I am, um, stop right now and go and get the demo yourself. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description to go and get it. Um, or a link to their uh, website where you can sign up to an email, <laughs> to their email list and get it yourself. Clock. I am not sure if this is the right time. Of course it is. A picture. Very orange and yellow. Looks exotic. Part of an original rug of exotic origin. 
sold to me by a man named Brian Two Thousand. I don't recognise that. That's that's a um, that's a reference, isn't it? I'm not too sure about that. A hat. A hat. Looks like it's from a magician's costume. Original piece from 1994. Guaranteed, not a replica. Very expensive. That's uh, Simon Sorcerer. A small picture. It shows the earth, behind it the sun slowly rising. An original. Artist is a certain Orion bee. Don't know that one. A face. Tofu face. A tofu face. Snapshot taken by a nature photographer for a report. Very rare. That's also curse. I mean, there's a lot of cursings in here. Still the third best monkey island. Looks like an advertising poster with a pirate. Not a replica. Remnant of an old hotel on a Caribbean island. The poster says, Grog, more than a soft drink. Now also available in the following flavours. Diet Grog, Cherry Grog, Grog Classic, Caffeine Free Grog, Near Grog, a non-alcoholic variant, and Light Grog. Wait, it also says something in small underneath. Contains kerosene and battery acid. Wait, what? Battery acid? A national drink. Okay. <laughs> there is still something there. Caution, eat contents quickly. Otherwise, eat through cup bottoms. No liability, all rights reserved. Delicious. Huh. <laughs> wow. Well, we know where that one's from as well, don't we? Should we carry on looking at um, at everything? I think we will. I think we'll just carry on looking. And then we'll talk to the guy at the end. Right, let's look at these pictures. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking it's at. It's like two olives. A self-portrait of a certain F. Wilder. On the back is written, For my best friend, Drew Blank. Drew Blank. If I'm missing all of these references, please write down in the comments so that I know um, we know where they're coming from. That's from... Uh, the best game ever made. It looks like it used to hang in an old pirate's nest. It did. A dog. Somehow the picture looks familiar. Fits in any living room. From the estate of an elderly lady. From the estate of an elderly lady. Is that from Broken Sword as well? Is she? Is she old? Is the old lady got a dog in that? I can't remember. It's been a while since I played it. And that's um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Self-portrait. Dedicated to a Dr. F. Edison. Supposedly the father of the artist. So that is a certain uh, tentacle. Right, let's have a look what else we can see. Signpost. I mean, that looks... An oversized arrow. I guess it's supposed to make sure you don't miss the table. Well, that's accomplished. Genuine. And made. Not for sale. That looks like the... the from, um... <laughs> Let me start again. That looks like the arrow from um, Secret of Monkey Island when you go to Hook Island. A little bit. An oversized arrow. I guess it's supposed to make sure you don't miss the table. Well, that's accomplished. Genuine. And made. Not for sale. Okay, right. What's that say? Signpost. An oversized. Genuine. There was a little book there. Armour. Armour. It looks very well preserved. It must be very precious if it's an original. Originates from the liquidation of a Parisian joke store. The owner is a distant acquaintance. That music. I'm going to come out again. An armour. It looks very well preserved. It must be very precious if it's an original. Originates from the liquidation <laughs> of a Parisian <laughs> It changes that music. Store. That's really clever. The owner is a distant acquaintance. Oh, this is like its own game within a game, just trying to find all the classics. I mean, I don't care there's no puzzles in this demo. I'm um, uh, I'm definitely, it's already on my wish list, but you know, I'm not sure if there's gonna be a Kickstarter for this. So um, if there is, I'll, um, I'll link it down below. But I don't know, we'll have a look. A bottle in which there is a small model ship. An original item from a Caribbean restaurant. Especially popular with pirates. May have traces of chicken. <laughs> That's the guy with the uh, gold tooth. What's his name? Let me know in the comments below. A sign. It says, Touching Forbidden. And underneath in small letters, Touching Obligates to Purchase. No exception. Hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Right, have we looked at everything? Not yet. Strange Some orbs. Some decorative orbs. Handwoven voodoo orbs made from natural hair. 
Each piece is unique and highly exotic. Connoisseurs would notice right away. <laughs> Sign. Sign. I can't read the inscription. And it's not your business either. Anything else? Bell. A little bell. Strange. Although the door opens outward, I could swear that the little bell rang when I entered the store. Not for sale. Latest generation. Powered by solar energy. Registers every new customer, even without mechanical bells and whistles. Cool. <laughs> that does sound cool. A gramophone. Basically the primeval dinosaur of Bluetooth speakers. Just without Bluetooth. And without power. And without speakers. And not quite as handy. It comes with a record. Beethoven. Ooh. Sonata 12 in A-flat major. Uh-huh. Funeral march. Oh. <laughs> a painting. It shows a dog. The artist claims that it is a humanoid version of a dog that he encountered in a cartoon-like second reality. Clearly attributed to surrealism. Anything more? Oval picture. An oval picture. I think it's a portrait. Of course it's a portrait. It shows a face, two eyes, mouth, and nose. What else would it be? Right, I think that's it. If, if I haven't got anything, then like I said, you can get the demo yourself and um, play yourself. Nice I'm going to talk to this Excuse guy. Excuse me. No. It is an excellent store. Each unique piece under this roof is its own treasure. I sell only originals. Connoisseurs travel from far and wide to purchase my unique pieces. That sounds impressive. My clients include the creme de la creme of the upper class. How many customers do you get in a year? Well, you so... Well, so you could say... Well, so sometimes, uh, at least, so... So, no one? The road is very long. The clientele is very busy. But you just said... What's the point of this line of questioning anyway? <laughs> Who are you? Somebody from the Consumer Protection Agency? The Antique Sales Department? Um, f I'm from Consumer Protection. Right, I'm here for an examination. Um, from the Antique Sales Department. I am Vio. I am Vio. That must be my name. I'm Vio. I am Vio. Please spare me the long monologue about your biography now. I don't want to know where you came from, nor why you have come here of all places to steal my time. Do you intend to buy something? Not really. I don't have any money with me, and if I'm honest, I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> don't here. Know what I'm doing here. Why don't you say it right away? So you studied philosophy? Well, short of money and these constant why questions about the here and now, existence... Um... I knew right away I wanted to make something better out of my life. So why are you selling old stuff? Don't you dare! Old stuff? This shop is a treasure trove! A refuge of precious antique pieces! Valuable treasures, silent witnesses of significant history! So, in summary, old junk. Rarities from better times. Each unique piece is an irrevocably precious relic of inestimable value. The state of preservation of my antiques is legendary and the rarity value undisputed. Each of these pieces of jewelry has been manufactured to a very high standard, mostly by hand. All right, all right. Any connoisseur would be awestruck when viewing this invaluable collection. However, this requires appropriate expertise in order to correctly assess age, originality, and provenance. Which you obviously lack. Wow, that's a bit harsh. From consumer protection. Right, I'm here for an examination. Certainly not. Pardon? Certainly not. I have only recently corresponded with the lady from this office. So? And I was assured that there was no reason to complain. No usury, no hidden extra charges. I'm a clean businessman. And you... Yes? are an exceedingly bad liar. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks very much. Right, the brochures. These brochures. Only one per person. They are free. Nice, isn't it? Uh, yes. What's that all about? What do you mean? 
Well, why are there brochures for an indie game lying around an antique shop? Are they antique too? <laughs> of course not! You like to joke, don't you? Uh, is that a trick question? Considering the... circumstances, what else should I have put there? The preciousness that ultimately matters? Please, that would have taken away the special charm of the whole thing. I don't really understand. Should I have left the table empty instead? How absurd would that be? And the beautiful signs? Remodeling half the interior just for... for that? I don't earn enough for that. Do you know how much effort that would take? No, no. Keep the brochure and enjoy it. And if you're particularly nice, visit the website or leave a comment on Twitter. Website? Twitter? Twistedtail.de Or, attention, now it gets particularly creative, at Tail Twisted! Isn't that a nice pun? Twisted like that. Uh... <sighs> <laughs> um, yeah, I will leave all those links down below. I do already follow them on uh, Twitter, and you should too. So that's that's all the one I haven't asked, isn't it? Um, from the antique sales department? Impossible. Yes, as I stand here. Impossible. Such a prestigious body as the official antique sales department would never, and I emphasize, would never, and I emphasize, never, employ such a cretin, let alone send them here. A cretin? Cretin! You philistine! There you go. Philistinette, if anything. So you don't believe me? Let's not get stuck on quibbles. No, I don't believe you. And you are a very bad liar. So we've asked all of those, so let's leave them, I let's leave them be. Um, look around some more. If you must. But please, don't touch anything! <laughs> only look with our eyes, not our hands. Of course. So there was a lot of information taken there. It's very talky, and I, yeah, the writing is very small. Um, but the voice acting is really good, really top quality. Um, I'm going to leave the room, but if I can't, then that's going to be the end of the demo. So like it says at the start, there's not actually anything to do. It's more looking at the aesthetics and the feel of it. And uh, yeah, it's a thumbs up from me. I like it. Right, there's no actual draw there. Uh, right, so I think I'm going to call it quits here. Um, if you've enjoyed this demo, please go and get it for yourself and see if you can figure out any more of the 23 um, references. I mean, I don't know how many we got. Six, seven, eight? Not sure. But it was good fun, and I could spend a lot longer in here if I had um, if I had all day. Um, if you go and support it, uh, go and wishlist it, and all that good stuff. And if you like me, um, if you like me, if you like Yak Wax Lips and what I do, then please make sure that you hit subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on any more um Adventure Game videos and check out all the links below. I've got a, I've got the uh, Facebook group with over a thousand people in there talking about adventure games. I do Twitch. I do um, all the social stuff. So yeah, just have a look down in the description below. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. You have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now, and take care. <laughs>